Hey, Corrupt Eclipse, um, welcome to the second part of the, uh, I don't even know what I'm calling it, the football team aftermath, after party video. Um, if you are new and you didn't see the first part, I suggest you go back and watch that so you can pick up on what I'm talking about and fully understand what's happening. So, this is, this is, this gameplay is with, um, Phoenix and Voltage, we were just doing some air control, ATC, air traffic control, that's how we run thing, ATC, but, <laughs> but, um, so, uh, what was I talking about? Alright, so, we get back to the school. Everyone's tired and sore. We're going for a run. I was like, no! This could not be... Like, I, I hesitated on, like, what they said. Because, like, mind you, like, everyone's just so done and burned out. And I think I crashed, or never mind, I did. But, um, everyone's just tired and, like, oh, come on. So we had to run. We ran through two... No... A mile, a mile and a half down the street, we got to this dirty, nasty pond, and we got baptized at the pond. Now, there's a little story behind it that, like, I guess I just figured out, like, earlier today. It's, um, we've won two Super Bowls. In both Super Bowls that year, the team got baptized. So, it wasn't like anything new but at the same time the last time we did it was in 2010 so the, the captains did do it but like the idea kind of like slipped away a little bit but you know we brought it back and hopefully we get some good comes out of it but um what else would happen um we dove into this nasty and i think there's mercury or mercury i can't say that word at all i don't know why mercury in the the freaking lake pond whatever because it's like you're not supposed to swim in it there's signs and stuff but we do it anyway because that's how we roll getting ruthless being stupid all that <laughs> all that good business but um yeah it was pretty crazy that's what we did and we had to run back and i ran back barefooted and a few kids ran back barefooted and everyone else put their socks back on they are probably gonna wake up with athlete's foot or some other nasty foot fungus that you <laughs> that you don't need <laughs> So it was, I was like, alright, well, you guys are stupid. And we ran back, and we're like, alright. And then they're like, okay, let's get on the football field. I was like, no, this has to stop. And I'm like, alright, we're bear crawling 100 yards, sprinting back, and then crab walking 100 yards, sprinting back. And everyone's like, no! And they're like, ah, just kidding. And it was like, it was probably the best, like, joke I've, like, experienced in a long while because the desperation that we were all going through at the time to just be done with it. I don't know, it was, it was good timing. And after that, one of the captains had, like, a open pool or whatever, so we were all like, alright, let's go to his house. And there was probably, I want to say, 15, 15 of us. No, there was 12, actually. 12 of us there. And, because we, 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 we were just chilling in the pool or whatever. And we were like, relays and stuff. And, like, being a black kid, I made a statement. I was showing them up. I was like, yo, just because I'm black don't mean I can't swim. And I was like, oh, it was funny. So we did that, whatever. Came home and went, grabbed some money, changed my clothes, and went to Cordoba. Got some Mexican food at Cordoba. It was bomb. I was just so hungry. That was the first thing I eating all day because I woke up at 1 and I didn't, I didn't eat until that time. So food never tasted better. <laughs> and then, um... But after that, went to five below. Just took some. Uh, I didn't take. We bought, <laughs> bought some candy or whatever, and we went to go see Ted. And I don't know why. I just missed the release of Ted. I never really saw it. So we saw Ted, and I was like, "All right, this is this is gonna be sick." But then I was like, "Damn it, that's a rated R movie. What are we gonna do?" <laughs> No, some of the captains they can pass for 18 and some of them actually are 17 so what happened was initially we got there it was me one one katie's a captain it's just, we call him spills it was me spills um ruddy and turtle this is his name's not turtle that's what we call him and um we went to go buy tickets and turtle was going to pretend he was 18 and get us all tickets and they ID'd him and checked the birthday and they're like, oh, you're not going to be 18 for another month. You can only purchase one ticket. Oh, so we were just like, damn, this is hurting. So then we started scheming, trying to find some mischievous way to like handle it. And then uh, 
and another captain Palanza rolls in and buys two tickets and they're like how you let him buy two and he's like oh I just told him I was 17 and they bought so I was like alright well I guess we can do that so we each paired up with the captain that was 17 and they went to go buy his tickets and I guess depending on which cashier you went to you could get one or two and the guy I went to tried to get tried to get me a ticket and they wouldn't let him I was just like damn that sucks so it was me and one of the kids chilling outside, everyone else got in. And I'm like, no, it's not happening like this. So these guys were walking in. I'm like, hey, what movie are you going to go see? He was like, The Dark Knight. And I was like, oh, man, that sucks. Uh, could you do me a favor? He's like, yeah, what you need? I'm like, I need you to buy me a ticket for Ted. And he said, sure, fine. And I offered him $2. So he, we went, he bought me the ticket, gave it to me, and I gave him $2. So it was, in my opinion, it was a good deal for, like, having someone go out of the way to get you a ticket and I'm sure he was happy because he earned two dollars for doing absolutely nothing not really nothing but you know it's whatever went and saw the movie mind you the other kid was outside because he didn't have the balls to go ask nobody for a ticket so I was like damn that sucks for you and it was like a Monday night too today's Monday so there was not really a chance of a lot of people coming in there was, there was low traffic but um we went and we saw a movie, Ted's Mad Funny. I saw, strongly recommend that you see that. It's a little predictable, but it was still a good movie. And what else? Oh, this is where it got good. This is where the the the, the keg starts um, kicking. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't know what the, the phrase would be. But um, <laughs> this is where we're like, all right. On the way there, we did pop a few shots at the paintball gun. You know, we were getting a little ruthless. But nothing too serious. So, there's four of us in the car on the way back. And we had this plan. We had the paintball gun. And we were going to do something stupid. Alright? That's, 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 that was the mindset we had. So, we had this. Everyone but the driver got to shoot the paintball gun. Alright? that we, we had um this make it or take it system. So, um, if you missed, you pass it on. If you made a good shot, you kept it. And we, we, I want to say we shot approximately every half mile or more than that. Probably every quarter mile we, no, that's, that's too much. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It depended on where we were. If there was high traffic, we didn't. We waited until it was like secluded and whatnot. We, we let some off. But um, my boy Roddy, it was his and he was sitting in the back next to me. And it was his paintball gun, so he got first dibs on it. And we were shooting at some signs, you know. We shot at the Gillette sign. I don't know if that was too smart, but we did it anyway. And um, we didn't shoot the sign. There was like this, like this, like I don't even know what kind of sign it was. It was, I think it was like speed. I think it was speed limit sign. I'm not sure. Whatever. And um, then they were like, all right, whatever. He shot like a few more signs. Gave it to me, and like. At the height of the window, there was a sign that was like a crosswalk sign, but it was in the middle of the road because this is a strange as hell intersection. I can't even describe it to you because like roads come in at all weird angles. It, it doesn't make any sense. But they're like, all right, whatever. We'll, we'll just take it here and give it to me. And I was like, I was like, say hello to my little friend. And I popped it. And like, it was so sick because like we were like two feet away from it. So, like, the sound it made, it was so loud, and, like, it echoed, and everyone was, like, getting pumped, getting stupid. We are like, yeah, whatever. So I kept it. And we're driving down the street, and we're on a, a busy road. We're on, it's, like, it's right off the highway. And we were going to take a left into, like, a little more, like, discreet area. And right on the turn was a deer. And I know your animal activists are going to come at me right now. But I was like, I'm hitting that deer. And everyone was like, oh, shit, like, getting crazy. And we were pretty far away from it. I want to say a solid like sixty feet in a moving vehicle. And my I'm I shoot with my right hand, but I was in the left side of the car. So for me to like make a shot, it was incredibly awkward because the barrel was long too. So I had to like adjust my shoulder and make it all uncomfortable and I couldn't really aim. And I was like, alright, I just waited, have a breath for two seconds and shot. Hit it right in the side, right in like the rib cage. 
and it jumped up, bucked, made this weird, strange noise, and dipped in the woods. I know I didn't kill it. It wasn't even injured, but I scared it and hurt a little bit, whatever. And everyone was going crazy. Everyone was laughing, giggling. It was, it was so much fun. We hit a deer with a paintball gun, and it was like, I don't know. I guess there's people like out in the South that have probably done cooler stuff, but whatever. If to, to me, being like this, like my freshman experience going into sophomore, it was so much fun. And then... Whatever, we'll later talk about this is this absolute freak who lives down the street, like a straight up, like, odd job. And he keeps, <laughs> he keeps flamingos in his yard. So he drove by it, lit up all the flamingos. We let off like 30, no, nah, no, nah, we didn't let off, was like 15 rounds. We like, kung, 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 and drove off. And we made a loop that took like four minutes. We came back and took four, <laughs> we took four of the flamingos. <laughs> and we met up at Wendy's. Well, we didn't meet up. It was one car. We just stopped at Wendy's. Whoa, what the hell did I... <laughs> I need to go to bed. But we just <laughs> stopped at Wendy's. And we just, you know, chilled there, whatever. Recuperated. Chilled a little bit. Talked about what just happened. And we were all in the greatest mood. It was so much fun. Like, to be like, alright, we just did that. I'm accomplished. You're accomplished. I hit a deer. We just took some flamingos. And we, we had a, a crazy night. Now, that was the greatest feeling. Because I've never done anything like that before in my life. You know, go out with boys being ruthless. And, like, no code of conduct. We just did whatever because we wanted to. And, I don't know, that feeling. I know I'm sound like a future criminal <laughs> or something. I swear, I, it won't get to that. Don't you worry. But, like, everyone does high school stuff like, from what I've heard. And I crashed right here. Oh, my <laughs> but um it was it was definitely a whole bunch of fun and i strong i st enjoyed that night so i would definitely probably remember this for a long time but like i from my hair from the seniors you know more stuff like this does happen so you know i'm pumped and i'm just waiting for it to happen again because i absolutely love the whole experience so um this corrupt eclipse i just wanted to share my story with you guys Hope you guys like, rate the video, If leave a comment, whatever you feel. If you want me to do more of these, I guess, you know, just hit me up, whatever. Leave a comment saying, yo, Curtis, we want more stories from you. And I'll be like, all right, man, I'll hook you up. But, um, yeah, so I thank, I thank you guys for watching and staying through this long video with me. I just hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, favorite, if, you, if you're that generous. And um, thanks for your time. Corrupt Clips, deuces.